Hello again. So I'm going to be doing a video for all the signs. Um, there were some channel messages for all the signs and then um, we'll be doing some tarot along with it. Starting with the sign of, yeah. Who did I start with? I started with the sign of Libra. So there's something with a public image and um, something with the color gold and spirituality. So it's prosperity, wisdom. There's a love connection here, something about growing. And then some of you guys, something to do with circulation in your legs. So if there's something that you're struggling with, um, some of you guys, it's something to do with teaching. Some of you guys are meant to be teachers. I think that you, some of you guys have really excellent communication skills. And they're saying that maybe your wisdom is meant to be um, heard by maybe children or other people that could um, learn from you. The message is for Libra. So it's something, for some of you guys, it could be a relationship. For some of you guys, it's, um, it could be like a work situation. It looks like there's something just, um, that's really not being talked about. You have the two of swords, the 10 of swords, the eight of wands. This is, a uh, something really painful, something you want to make a decision about whether or not this is over with, whatever it was, it hurt you pretty bad. Maybe you felt like someone stabbed you in the back. Maybe you felt like this person didn't choose you or choose what you wanted. I do feel like there's a conversation here that's going to be happening, but it has a lot to do with emotions. And I feel like whoever you guys are dealing with, this isn't a really emotional person. This is someone who maybe says things or does things sometimes where, you know, um, You don't really understand them. And I feel like what they want you to know is that this is, situation is could surprise you in the end. Because I think like you either are appreciated or something more than you realize. Or it's just something that you don't really understand about them. Because maybe there's some healing that needs to happen before this could change for you. It has a lot to do with emotions for somebody. For some of you guys, it has something to do with the career. Um, cancer, it says nurture, transformation, and discernment. So I feel like some of you guys, this is about taking care of yourself, especially if you're going through something or maybe you're going through a transformation. And I feel like there's a level of understanding that will come along with it. Maybe for some of you guys, it has to do with the relationship. For some of you guys, it has to do with maybe how you're taking care of yourself. For some of you guys... This has to do with how you're communicating with other people and maybe how you feel about yourself. Some of you guys want to do plastic surgery. There's something about you that you want to change. Um, I do feel like there's someone who wants to take care of you. There's someone who wants to take you out on a date. I feel like this person may not be the most uh, lovey-dovey kind of person, but I feel like this person could balance you out. I feel like some of you guys are struggling with the idea of do I want to be single? Do I want to start all over in a relationship? Is this even going to be what I want it to be kind of thing? Um, some of you guys are kind of being cold or this person, this even could be a past situation that was pretty, this person was really cold, especially when it came to communication. Um, I feel like there's something that you don't open up and talk about. Maybe there's something that you don't really deal with. But I also feel like there's a, a sense of moving past old energy, maybe moving past this person. And I think that there's a part of you that's still holding on to something that really hurt you, something that happened, and it could just be something that, you know, even a soul fracture to the point where that's how much it hurt you, and that's kind of causing an illness within your body, and I feel like there's a need to kind of address some things, especially emotionally, especially things when it comes to, like, a family situation and um, maybe things that you need to walk away from or you're trying to walk away from um leo 
something to do with love and wisdom and love and mind and your solar plexus. So I feel like some of you guys come with a lot of wisdom. Some of you guys come with a lot of understanding. I feel like there's a need to transform maybe how you think or perceive love as a whole. Um, I feel like you can bring balance and harmony to this situation or that's coming if that's what you're worried about. I feel like... Um, you guys are pretty tapped in, some of you. There is a plan. I feel like some of you guys are in the service field or that's just kind of what your um, purpose is here. And I think that you understand that, but I do feel like there is something to do with um, maybe abuse survivors or some type of an abuse here, but I do feel like there's something where you feel like you're just getting closed in and things are closing in around you, but there will be help and assistance here for you. I feel like there is a need to self-reflect maybe when it comes to new opportunities. I do feel like some of you guys could be, um, someone could be planning like a honeymoon or a vacation. Um, maybe they're not really talking about it. I do feel like this is pretty equal for you in this partnership with this person, but maybe it's time to talk about maybe things that hurt you like as a child or in the past or like something to do with when you grew up. Um, it could be a father situation for some of you. I do feel like someone really didn't talk about emotions or they kind of ran away from them and maybe that's something that you had to deal with. Um, Gemini says lack of emotional support, self-love, and nurturing. So I think that some of you guys feel like you're not supported. Maybe you feel like there's like aggressive energy around you or this is how you come off to someone. I do feel like they're saying that, you know, some of you guys are really, really strong. You're really good at being on your own. But they're saying to not give up. Maybe you'll be given a, um, this friendship or this communication. I do feel like um, there's something, some kind of date here. Maybe there's a person you're dealing with that wants to go on a date. Or maybe um, this person might not be what you expected. Or maybe it's just time to release the expectations of this person. I do feel like someone wants to come see you. Someone is. Or there's some type of trip or something along that line I do feel like uh if there was a break from this person or if there was a sense of not really n knowing how this would work out that it will come together but it's more about you and this person making that decision maybe it's going taking a job somewhere else maybe it's um not overthinking this or not feeling like you can't do it or it can't be done um I think that uh there's something that you like hope and wish for and to not let that go because I feel like you can have it. It's just understanding that it might just take a little bit more patience. Um, Scorpio says release expectations. Something to do with family oriented, hardworking, and there's something that is coming true for you that you wanted. It could be money. It could be a partnership. I feel like... There's something to do with family here, um, stability, maybe keeping things to yourself. It could be something to do with your father. Uh, I do feel like for some of you guys, it's a wound because I know it's one for me. <laughs> something to do with the routine here. Um, something about a job. Some of you guys, your eyes might be bad, allergies. Um, I feel like some of you guys are really smart or this person's really smart in your life and I feel like it's going to take some patience because I feel like there's more to this that needs to be illuminated. I think they're saying to just have fun with something that, you know, try to be more lighthearted, um, nurture your inner child because there was something that really, really hurt you, really broke your heart. It could be from your childhood. It could just be something from your past. But I do feel like, you know, moving forward, you're learning how to work with the energies around you. You're learning how to work maybe with other people or maybe find the beauty and the routine that you have, like kind of a sense of just being appreciative for what you have in the moment and releasing the expectations for the future. I do feel like there's a cycle here that's ending for some of you guys where you ended up maybe um, really disappointed. Maybe there's a loss here. I do feel like there was something that you were really wrapped up in, whether or not it was an obsession, whether or not it wasn't good for you, but I do feel like there's something new that's here. It's just, you know, taking care of 
what you have right now, basically, and making a clear decision for the future. Um, Capricorn, home, family, courage, strength, and mind exercise. Something like, you know, like those mind puzzles that you do to like exercise certain parts of your brain. I don't know if it's a, if it's a puzzle or a game or something along those lines, but something to do with understanding here. Um, you could have some issues with your nervous system or like maybe circulation or something along that line, but I do feel like there's something that you want to talk about or that will be talked about. Um, it could have something to do with your job. It just could be an overall conflict that you have with another person. I do feel like something is changing, but I also feel like for some of you guys, this is about communicating or someone communicating that they're, you know, wanting to do things on their own. I do feel like there could be children involved or maybe just really immature energy here for some of you guys where there was a pretty big loss that was taken. Some of you guys could have lost a child. Um, I do feel like you're healing from that. I do feel like maybe some of you guys spent a lot of time on your own or maybe there's a sense of needing to be more independent and, and healing yourself in the future moving forward because I do feel like there is some healing here for you guys and like letting this go because it's still kind of affecting some things maybe communication skills but I feel like maybe you guys feel like you can't have kids again or some of you guys are saying there's a business um, thing here so maybe a teaching you guys are really talented and you could work together with another person um, something about seeing both sides of the story in a situation and expressing you know certain things maybe someone wants to be single um, Aries, it says determination, attention, something about a date, maybe with flowers. Um, some of you guys are really, uh, your attention's going to like your possessions or like maybe a job or like trying to achieve certain goals or, you know, what you have. Maybe some of you guys are working on a business. I do feel like there's karma involved for whatever, whether it's good or bad, there's karma involved. And I do feel like. It's important to learn to work together with other people and that it's possible to have the relationship or the situation or partnership that you want. But at the same time, um, there's also a need to pay karmic debt for some of you. And there's, because I'm going to do it with taxes, but I do feel like there's, there is some things here that it's not the greatest karma for some of you. And that's only because of what you may be focused on or whatever the case may be. I see judgment, ten of swords, the ace of cups. And then the King of Pentacles. For some of you guys, this is about making the decision to end something, even though there is love here. For some of you guys, this might not go in your favor if it's a court case. Um, for some of you guys, um, you're going to be dealing with maybe someone who isn't who you thought they were to a certain extent. And it's like, even though you care or whatever the case may be, I feel like you know better or something along those lines. Um, either way, this this level of clarity is coming here and there's this conversation, but I do feel like something is just kind of over and part of you is still holding on because of lust for some of you, but at the same time, um, maybe some people are better off as friends. Um, some of you guys, you feel like you're not appreciated in certain places in your life, maybe your friends or people around you, but I think that you are. It's just that you're able to see things in a way that other people don't and maybe it's not really well understood so maybe you come off in a certain way and you don't mean to but that's what it is um aquarius says good luck lazy lust and playful so whatever that means um something's gonna make you really happy when it comes to your like an emotional connection something's gonna make you laugh something wants to take care of you i feel like um there's some energy of like maybe dating someone new or like that was butterfly feelings, someone you could work really well with and it's part of the divine plan for your life. But there's also a need to kind of let things go that no longer serve you, especially when it comes to complacency and karmic ties that have to do with soul ties or lust. Um, it's important to stay in like high spirits. Some of, there is like this connection here. It looks like... Um, 
but you're really guarded or this person's really guarded or maybe this person um, is like overprotective. Maybe there's children or something along the lines or this person is really like they're really like heavily protected by like their guides because of what they've been through. I think someone's just trying to persevere even though they have these emotions. I do feel like it's going it'll it can go in your favor, but in, let's just remember that no matter how strong you are on your own that it's not it's important for you to understand or discover that things do need to change in order for there to, to be the balance and harmony here um sometimes and I feel like there could potentially be a loss if certain things maybe or behaviors aren't expressed but at the same time I think that um it looks like a stable connection. It looks like a balanced connection, but it's about making the decision about do you want to dwell on the past or do you want to move forward? I feel like some of you guys, you aren't sure what you want to do. Pisces, something to do with the vitamin supplement for you guys because maybe you're feeling like foggy or something. Some of you guys have something to do with the growth here. Um, it's important to just keep the faith there is a plan but i just think that it's important for you to um have the mental clarity about things and be optimistic because karma comes to those that maybe have done you wrong or something along those lines i think that there's something here um Something is, maybe there's an ending of a job for some of you guys, or maybe there's just a need to, like, <clears throat> change certain things. There is definitely some healing to do. I think it's a genetic something in your family. Um, there's a need for balance. I feel like you feel like maybe you're taking on a lot of a connection or a situation, and maybe you feel like you want to give be given credit for something or you want this person to make the decision to end something but at the same time um i think some of you guys are in a way like worried about the conversation or how this will go even though you have all these really strong emotions i feel like there's a need to look at your own emotions when it comes to certain things and make a decision about how you could live in a in a state of balance in your life because you don't have to deal with things on your own and you can talk about it but it's just important to understand that you know blessings is, and healing also come with learning things sometimes and <clears throat> It might have something to do with something in the past or just something that's been in your family for a long time. Sagittarius, I uh, see something to do with the STD here. Sorry for some of you. A pregnancy, something about a side piece. I think that there's a, just a need to end a certain situation. Um, know that you will be understood and supported by the right people, but at the same time, uh, maybe be mindful of your friends or think about a certain situation um maybe someone you work with maybe a capricorn um someone that you're dealing with or we're dealing with or some type of situation here where maybe someone wants something like a polyamorous situation i don't know something like that um the Hermit, the Two of Pentacles, the Eight of Pentacles, the Ace of Swords. So this is like finding something out. This is like self-reflection, but at the same time, finding a sense of balance. Some of you guys really are dealing with someone who is kind of prefers one female to another, but there's still both of you here. And maybe this person gives this person money or something along those lines. I feel like there's something you're going to be finding out about. And it's going to be kind of unexpected, but I do feel like um, I think that there could be jail time for someone also. But I do feel like um, there's a feel, it's almost like a loss has to be taken for things to move forward or something like maybe communicating in a certain situation, like maybe what you truly want in a situation. Maybe someone needs to be more honest about like what they want sexually. That's none of my business. Virgo says inner awareness, mastery, 
Stability, progress, expression, and something to do with eyesight. You have a friendship here that's really healing for some of you guys. Something that's a blessing. I feel like some of you guys, it's teaching you something or there's a lot of, like, compassion, inspiration. Some of you guys will be really good teachers or good in a certain situation like that. I think that you guys are really intelligent. You guys are really... Um, patient people I think that you're able to kind of manifest things in a way but there is an ending here there is a death here that's being highlighted I think some of you guys are working towards a certain goal and you're still kind of dealing with the situation where maybe you were cheated on or lied to in the past by this person who you know kind of cold I th I don't want to say they're cold I just feel like they don't really they could be an air sign and air signs don't really ex express their emotions the way that other people do so it kind of left you in this sense of like you don't know which way to move forward but you feel like you took a loss maybe you took financial loss um I feel like you do have friends around you that support you but it's up to you to make a decision to not make the same choices as the past to not deal with those people and to remember for some of you guys this is about um writing something down there's some type of communication it could be a download writing it down to gain this knowledge about certain things and maybe like what really happened in a situation um because i think like part of you kind of knows you know maybe there was drinking and other people involved but at the same time like it's hard for you to move past that or to find a sense of harmony with whatever was going on. And I think that, you know, maybe it's just time to talk about it and make a clear decision, especially like for a long term goal or a long term situation. Taurus, it says completion, endings, freedom, harmony, ability to discern. think that you have insight into a certain situation, whether it's career or another person. I think that part of you is in, an, in a state of expansion and growth, but along with that came some pretty painful endings. And I think that some of, for some of you guys, this is about choosing one situation over another. For some of you guys, this is about basically bringing into fruition something that you've been manifesting for a long time. Someone could have been guarded, but I feel like there is a sense of like a conversation or an understanding. I think like moving forward, things you have really good things coming in, but there's a need to leave the past in the past to have this victory, to have this sense of like emotional fulfillment for you guys. Um, listening to your guides, I feel like because they've been wanting you to make a decision for a while or understand your power because some of you guys like, are really powerful but at the same time you know that that means leaving someone behind that means leaving something out but at the same time to gain what you wanted in reality in another situation to not overthink this to see things for like for truly what they are and to maybe communicate you know whether it's feelings emotions or plans for the future um i think that unconsciously you're more powerful than you know and you may if you overthink this in the wrong way then that might bring things like i think this is the past and this is already over with maybe you just need to know that things are going to be way better now that this is over with um and that it's not going to be as bad as you think i think it's just the need to release expectations for some of you guys anyways that's all i have for you